Big news regarding booster shots. The CDC officially recommending them for millions of Americans. Those who got the Moderna and the J&J &J boosters can get that extra dose. The CDC endorsed Pfizer booster last month, you may recall. This move means all three of the major vaccines, Pfizer included, have been given the green light, so to speak. But many are confused on mixing and matching, meaning what brand can I use or shouldn't I use? Is it best to stick with the one you began with? Well, we're lucky enough to have Dr. Frida, who is the founder and president of Midtown Atlanta Medical Office. Dr. Frida, good to see you. Good to see you. So with this development, now we have all three. The access is there, but does that necessarily mean everyone should get a booster? It doesn't mean everyone can, but certainly there are groups that are outlined very well. We know that people who are over the age of 65 are eligible to get the boosters, anyone over the age of 65. But also, if you are over the 18 and if you fit in a certain category, then you also can get boosted up. So if you're over 18 and you have an underlying medical condition, so if you have chronic kidney disease, if you have diabetes, if you have some kind of an issue where you are living with obesity, then you can get the, the booster. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're over the age of 18 and you live in a situation where you are at high risk. Then what about the various options, doctor? Um, Moderna, J&J, &J, and also Pfizer. Let's say you've been hearing that Moderna has more of a protective percentage, which it does, but that means they're gonna give you half a CC, not as much, right, in terms of what brand. But can you pick and does it matter which one? You can mix and match. Actually, the NIH has re released some of its data showing that either of the vaccines, be it Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, or Pfizer, you can get. Now, the studies did actually show that with the messenger RNA vaccines, if you choose those as boosters, then you may get a better immune response. For example, if you got a Johnson & Johnson as your first dose, if your second dose is a Moderna or even a Pfizer, then you will have a better antibody response than if your second dose is a Johnson & Johnson. Nevertheless, if you get two doses of Johnson & Johnson, you still have over 94% protection against moderate and severe disease. Same thing with Pfizer. If you had Pfizer and your second dose, your third dose, your booster is Moderna, you still will be safe, you'll be protected with the booster doses. And this is great because it makes it a little more efficient when you have companies that have boosters to give. They don't have to say, we're here, but only for Pfizer. We're here, but only for Moderna. Right. You can get any of the three and you can get boosted up. You can get your boosters. You can get protected in all of these eligible categories. And I just want to end on this graph here. When you look at who's getting hospitalized with COVID, it really says it all. Those, the blue line represents those who have not received their shot despite this overwhelming data. Still severe vaccine hesitancy out there. But again, now a lot more availability when we're talking about the third shot, the booster. Check with your doctor if you're in that category and you want one. Dr. Frida, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you.